Welcome to the Collecting Data in eGraph tutorial. Compared to other databases, the power of eGraph is that the database is organized by cultures and by subjects. Using advanced search, this tutorial will show you how to collect data in eGraph. Here we search for food taboos in cultures of East Africa using the OCM subjects as well as keywords. Clicking on Search will first connect you to a region. Clicking on Regions will pull up the cultures list. Clicking on a culture name will pull up the paragraph and the document information. On the right you will see snippets of the paragraph results with highlighted words and highlighted subjects. Click the Show Long View link to open and close the paragraph. Click the box to select the paragraph. Click the Go button for the paragraph in context of the page. Here you will be taken to the paragraph which is on the bottom of the page. The change of color of the paragraph and the magnifying glass icon indicates the search paragraph. The notebook icon and the checkbox indicates that the paragraph has been selected. Navigate the pages using the buttons on the bottom or on the top. You can navigate by all pages, search results, or my selection. Keep the default if you want to read subsequent pages. Click search results for only those pages that have the highlighted search results. Clicking my selection will only show those paragraphs that you have selected by checking the box. Besides the author name and the title of the document, there's also a page focus and the table of contents which is clickable. Clicking on publication information will give you the information for citing a document. Click help on how to cite the document in eGraph. Click document and paragraph results to return to the paragraph results menu. Navigate the results by clicking on the range tabs above or using the pull down list to set your paragraph results. You can set them up to 50 paragraphs per page. On the left hand side the results are sorted by document titles. Use the arrows in the columns to sort by number of results, document titles and time coverage. You can also print and email your data. Let's select a few paragraphs by checking the boxes. Then click print or email. This will give you the results in printable format. Click the browser tab to return to the menu and click culture results to return back to the culture menu. This ends the collecting data in eGraph tutorial. Thank you for watching.